voice we lift our hands to say we only trust in Jesus name Lord of mercy hear this prayer we
Jesus is our yes and day topic is stronger love for prayer. Our scripture is Jeremiah 29:12. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Prayer is a way of communicating or talking to God. It is a place of intimacy where we tell God our thoughts, feelings, fears, and desires. In prayer, we bring our petitions before God. It is the place where we give praise and thanks. This necessary act of communicating with God also leads to repentance. We have five prayer tools. The first one is ask God to stir up a longing within you for a love of prayer. God desires a relationship with you. Prayer is essential for building and sustaining the relationship. Pray that you can seek him, hunger after him, and find joy in prayer. Pray for faithfulness in your consistency. The Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. 
This includes the good days and the hard days. Pray for the grace and patience to wait in prayer. Acknowledge his attributes. Tell God what he means to you. Your desire to God in prayer is driven by who God is and not based upon your circumstances nor outcomes of your prayers. Pray for victory over your battles. You overcome sin and temptations through spiritual warfare in prayer. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you so much for who you are. We thank you for your goodness, for your faithfulness, for your grace. Like the psalmist, we ask that this prayer be like incense to you. Be with us, Father, as we venture forth into a new relationship with you where prayer is at the forefront. We know that in relationships, Lord God, we need to be in communion with others. And that's what prayer is. It's that time for us to be together. Help us to nurture our relationship. The love for prayer comes as an expression of our love for you, Lord. We love you. And we ask that you build within us this spark to spend that time to commune with you, to, to get to know you. And as we get to know you, Lord, we become more like you. And that is our goal, to, to be in your presence and to be like you. Father, forgive us for our sins. We know that we are not worthy, but we thank you, Jesus, for the cross. And we thank you that we can come before your throne and we can pray and you hear our petitions and you pray for us. So we just ask you, Father, that you ignite that spark, that you lead us closer to you in prayer. And we know that in prayer, Lord, we have conquered loneliness. We have conquered addictions. We conquer feelings of depression, anxiety, worry. We have all of the victory as we come into your presence and we lay them at your feet. Stir up that longing, Lord. Stir it up within us. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Let us read this prayer together. God, teach me how to pray. I declare a love for prayer. You are stirring up hunger for you, and I am eager to taste of your goodness. Through my prayer, I enter into your presence, and there I find joy. I commit myself to prayer. I commit myself to waiting on you. I desire to talk to you, and I desire to listen. Our relationship is the most special one in my life, and I commit to nurturing it through prayer. I acknowledge your power, your majesty, your holiness, your mercy, and your love. I will pray because of who you are. No matter what surrounds me, I know that you go before me, behind me, and beside me. I will win my battles through prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>